channel. Today I'm here to review this new scan tool, the Kink Bowling K7. And yes, it is a smart scan tool. And this thing features seven inch screen and it's got a nice resolution to it. It is rechargeable, has an internal battery. Charging ports right here, flip it up, USB and USB-C. And then up top, you have your power button, turn it on and off. And on the side, you have these threads in there. In the back, this is what you get. You get a camera. This actually has zoom in capabilities. And I like these rough little patterns here. That way you can grip it nicely. It does come with the case here. Got a little handle with a zipper. Inside the case, you'll get your OBD2 dongle. And this does make a noise when you plug it in, it makes a beeping noise. And it comes with your plug here, cord here to charge it. Now this case is pretty nice. It comes with the uh, manual here and also comes with the paper when you register. When you, when you first turn it on, you have to uh, set it up, which is pretty simple. I've had the scan tool for about a week now. So far, I'm super happy with this. I've got these other scan tools all right here and they're all corded. This one's corded also. They're one of my favorite ones right here. I have did reviews on these. These are all launched, by the way. And this is the first time that I get one with the dongle. So it's all connected wirelessly. So it's time to hook this thing up to my 2017 Acura MDX. I'm gonna add and delete keys with this scan tool. Now what's really cool about the scan tool is this thing can hook up to any vehicle and this thing has lifetime updates. Let's go ahead and plug in the OBD dongle. Get that little light at the bottom. Go ahead and key it on. Let's go to scan. See all the vehicles you can plug into. And it's pretty much, you got American, European, Asian, Chinese. So, uh, Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. I mean, this scan tool is from China, so. so let's go ahead and plug into our Acura. And it's, it's gonna, it'll automatically decode the VIN for us here. Now the fact that this thing is wireless, I think it's pretty fast for what it is. Actually, step out here and I'm gonna walk here to my other car. Let's do a system selection. Look at all these things you can, you can do. I mean, you can go to your AC system and you can do a test function on the AC system. Actually, let's do that real quick before we do the key stuff. And I'm all the way out here in the back, so see how, how long it takes. Well, it works pretty good. Climate control unit self-test. All right, let's do it. Self-check in progress. <laughs> That's pretty, pretty neat. So it should do a self-function here. All right, that's pretty cool. So we got zero faults. I'm gonna show you one more thing here before we go further. I love how it's Bluetooth and you can stand away from the car. Now let's go to power windows and let's go ahead and uh, roll down the front passenger side. Now we don't wanna reset anything, so let's do actuation test. Front passenger window down. Yeah, that's cool. All right, let's go back. Let's bring it back up. Yeah, that's pretty neat. 
body control module and keyless access remote, one push start, lane keep assist, camera, ECU, Honda Smart Park parking, we don't have that. Not bad for what it is. Now I do have these other ones that I've reviewed on my channel. These are one of my favorite scan tools right here. This can do everything that does plus more. The fact that it's cordless and that it is able to plug into many, many vehicles. All right, let's go ahead, go ahead and go one push start. And I'm gonna, what I'm gonna try to do is, I'm gonna delete a key. Okay. Registration. Not sure if I'm picking the right one here, but let's see. Keys. All right, so I did go to rewrite Honda smart key and how many keys do you want to register for now we'll just do one okay turn it off turn it back on okay I think I was supposed to take the key out, I forgot. <laughs> but you basically just follow the prompts and do it, do what it says to do. So what uh, does the key, let's access remote, immobile light goes out. Yep, the mobile light's a green key that flashes on and off, That's it's gone. So hit yes, turn the switch off, hit okay. Turn it back on. All right, the registration has been complete. Turn it off. All right, make sure that all, make sure the function of the key works. All right. Unlock the vehicle, unlock it, make sure it unlocks. All right. Even the windows, let's put it down. Everything goes down. All right, key seems to be working. Make sure it starts. All right, cool. Everything functions. Okay. All right, cool. This is the other key. Okay, as you can see, Nothing's, it's not working at all. All this doesn't start. All right, now let's go add the key. So now that I got uh, the red key disabled or not programmed, let me show you guys. It's not working, but this other key, the white one is working. That one's programmed. So now I'm gonna go ahead and program the red one. I'm just doing this to show you guys that what the scan tool is capable of. Now I will tell you, if you guys get a new key fob from Honda Acura Restore, make sure you guys take the actual key out and have them cut the key. Key it on. Now let's show you guys. I'm going to add another key. Telling me to turn the ignition switch off. So let's turn it off. Okay, this is still the original key that was programmed. All right, now it's gonna have me swap keys. Take all keyless access remote out of the vehicle and place them at a distance more than five meters. Okay. Take all keyless remote, okay, take this. Take just one new keyless remote into the vehicle. Okay, we'll grab this one that hasn't been programmed. Bring it inside the vehicle. And there's a countdown timer. And by the way, this is just like how the, the scan tool at, at Honda works, by the way. The keyless access remote is now registered. Turn the ignition switch off. It's gonna have you do this for quite a bit. 
Do not insert the keyless. Turn the ignition switch on. Okay, I turned it on. It's going to do its thing. Is keyless access remote immobilizer light go off? Yep, no green light. It's gonna have you turn it off again. Okay, turn it back on. Hit okay. Keyless function is registered too, since the keyless remote is united. So it's telling me that this key's been programmed and all the keyless access function. Hit OK, turn the ignition switch off. And now it wants us to make sure the unlock features and work. Oh, no, man. So, okay, lock works. Unlock. Windows all roll down. Okay, make sure it starts the vehicle. <laughs> there we go. Hit OK. Key. It's now been programmed. This thing is capable of many, many things, guys. What's also cool is, even though I deleted the driver two key, the memory seat position is still, memory position still remembers each key. Go to module, there is these features, like a battery test, oscilloscope. Now there is a kit you could buy, it's like 1100 bucks. And these other stuff too. I don't think they sell look, cables for these though. So I'm not sure about the video scope either, but let me show you the camera. Uh, yes, I six figures, but I'm literally here. That's cool. So yeah, I am on YouTube and you're able to watch YouTube videos. That's pretty awesome. Let's go back. Let me show you one last thing here before I close the video. Let's go to the camera. And yes, we are able to record and take capture pictures. And well, that's pretty neat. And you can zoom in also. See, you can zoom in. That's pretty dope. Very cool. Got this 2018 Honda Accord here, 2.0 turbo. Electronic calipers. They retract the servos on them so I could push the piston back. And the Honda. All right. Common special function, brake reset, brake pad maintenance mode. This function is used in rear brake pad maintenance. Please refer to the service manual. Hit all right enter maintenance mode check that the followings are fulfilled release the parking brake stop the vehicle so my parking brakes release we're all met already met all the criteria so I said okay you can hear the brakes retracting all right transition to pad exchange mode has been complete perform rear brake pad maintenance when the pad maintenance is complete so once you're done hit okay uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn the key off. That way we don't kill the battery. All right, got new calipers, rotors, and pads. Have your ignition switch turn it back on. And tap back to normal mode. Hit OK. You can hear it. You can hear the servos turn them back on. Pad was moved to original position. So far, guys, I really like the scan tool. Not bad. I believe it's $300 right now. Get it on Amazon. Please make sure you like this video. Comment below what you think. I'll try to read them and answer you guys. And stay tuned for the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.